Hey guys, I'm Eric Vallon. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. Behind me, we have a pretty common scenario. We are in an event space or the lobby of a restaurant. We've got a newly engaged couple, and we need to go ahead and make some beautiful portraits of them. Unfortunately, a location like this has its hurdles that we have to overcome. One of them being relatively low light. Another is the temperature of that light. A lot of times you're gonna have really warm tungsten bulbs in here. So I'm gonna show you how to overcome this with a few rogue modifiers and you don't even have to take your flash off camera. All right, so if you look at this first shot here, this is what I'm talking about. We have a good ambient exposure for the room, but our subjects look very underexposed and if you notice, there's that warm orange tint to the entire photograph. So the first thing I did is I put my flash on camera and I went ahead and bounced it into the ceiling. By bouncing it into the ceiling, we get some direction to the light. By having the light come down, it looks like we have our flash on a light stand off camera, so we avoid that flat snapshot look. But if you notice, by doing this, we've now illuminated our subjects, but the rest of the room is still very orange, and now they have almost like the raccoon eye shadows underneath their eyes because that light is coming straight down at them. So let's tackle one problem at a time. First, I'm gonna go ahead and put a full color temperature orange or CTO gel on top of my flash. That's gonna make the white light of my flash mimic the color of the warm bulbs in the room. So now when I switch my camera over to tungsten white balance, everything's neutralized. The warm tone of the lights and the warm tone of my flash are now balanced out and I have beautiful skin tones on my subjects and on the room. Now we need to go ahead and fix the shadows. I like the flash coming down from the ceiling because it gives it that direction and it makes our subjects look three-dimensional. And if you look closely, we don't really have much of a sparkle in their eyes for catch lights. So what I did is I went ahead and added the Rogue Flash Bender 2, the small one. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow the light to go straight up and bounce off the ceiling. And at the same time, it's going to catch a good portion of that and push it directly forward, giving us direction to the light and then also lifting up those shadows and adding that perfect little sparkle to their eyes. So very quickly, by setting our camera settings to tungsten white balance, using a color temperature orange gel to balance our flash with the room, and then getting a nice push of fill light with our bounce by using the small flash bender, we were able to even out the color temperature in the room, beautifully illuminate our subjects, and walk away with a great portrait with minimal effort.